Hey everyone, this is uh, Open Thoughts back at you again uh, for the you know the art session. Um, so I was got got asked the question about pastel and how do you blend? Well, actually, I have examples of colors that I use. I've also learned that pastel was well with using three three dimensional um, drawings in art. Uh, it works fantastic if you know how to do it. It's a very easy technique. Um, not hard, don't have a shame to explain it and express it, so I know people want to know how to do that. Uh, so, one of the things, colors I like to use is I, um, most, most likely skin tones, and I'll be discussing that. Okay, so here we have all the colors that you would need to use to blend. You have black, you have a peaches color, it's really good for skin tone, um, a brown, uh, a little lighter brown. Scoot this over. Um, a darker brown. This is a little bit heavier piece of chalk. You can see uh, gray and definitely white. And you know they help in the correlation of mixing all together. They're great colors, especially the 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 peach color. It's the best color you could possibly use to lay stuff down, especially if you're working with a darker skin co color and tone. Um, I do a lot of African American art, so I, that's like one of my big colors. I actually have to get a little bit more uh, of this color. This color right here, it's like a pe peaches brown, as you as you can see. I'm picking up. You, you can see that it's a, it's not too pink, and you know, so it's not too dark, not too light. It's perfect to lay down first on any drawing, and then to lay this down. Now you can get these chalks at Walmart, they're really cheap, you know, very soft, very easy to use, but that is the color you would most likely would want to use and in case you don't know how to lay it down correctly. And definitely black. Black is good to touch on darker tones, just a little dab is good. All right, back at you again. So we're learning how to blend. Uh, but before we start that process, I want to show you that you should always draw out your picture before you start. Most people like to just go off the head. If you can do that, that's fine. But if you're learning, please draw the picture out first. And it's going to be something different and unique that most people haven't seen. Let you guys see it. And we'll come back to you. All right, so as you can see, I laid down my colors. Um, I'm blending them in in this process. Uh, as you can see under the red part, you can see that the pink is laid first and then it's topped over when I put the top of the red on down. And you can see I've done it all over the canvas. You can kind of see the peach. Yeah, that color is amazing to lay first. I've laid that down completely. This is a beautiful piece. You need to have it. It's a must need. If you're learning, if you're a young child learning, use this on pastel. As you can tell, it, it works perfectly with the skin tones, uh, eyes, lips, everything, as long as you use this color. So... So that's it today. If anybody have questions, you know, subscribe. Anything, you know, let let us know. If you like the video, if you did it. You know, if you want to learn a little bit more, you know, we definitely can help you out. Like I said, there's going to be more artistic artists on the show. So, and not just in art, but poetry and music as well to help us, you know, grow this. So, we thank you guys. And like I said, at the end of every episode, we just average people like you. We just feel some art need to be addressed.